Hi, my name is Nancy Dickinson. I'm a fitness trainer and beginner endurance coach with Corehor Fitness. And I'm here to talk to you a little bit today about setting up your transition area for a triathlon, a basic sprint triathlon, maybe up until a little bit of a longer distance triathlon. It's, it's mainly the same. One of the best things to do before a triathlon is to visualize your transition. See yourself going through the different parts of the transition through the different equipment and then what I like to do is I, I like to set up those those sections accordingly so separately I have my cap the one that the the race is going to give to me the goggles that I'm used to wearing relatively new pair but that I know are um, going to work well for me as I've used them before um, I like to use a little bit of what's called body glide there's many different brands of this and this helps at some of the entries of your wetsuit, your wrists, your ankles, your neck, because those are the areas the wetsuit can get stuck and um, it makes it easier to get in and out of it. So you might have a, um, a sleeveless suit or even a, a swim skin or just your tri kit that you wear underneath, depending on the temperature of the, the water and the research that you've done. So there's my swim stuff all set aside. I personally like to wear my race belt and number during the bike and do that in T1, transition one, going into the bike because I feel it makes it so it's one less thing to do during T2. I'll keep um, some fuel in here, whatever you have been using, practicing with and training with for fuel, or whatever you might need. My watch, my run watch, my sweat cycling watch, I put this on, sunglasses on, helmet on, and of course at this time my wetsuit is off. Socks are the third thing, one of the third things that I have laid out here. Um, socks, I like to wear them on the bike because again, it's one less thing that I need to put on during, during T2. So I put, I put my socks on. Um, I have a piece of fuel out um, just in case if I'm feeling like I need it. Um, this is just one example of the many forms of fuel that you can take in. Um, I make sure to have already had my really solid breakfast. That I that for which with which I'm used to training and racing, and you'll want to make sure that you never just introduce some sort of new fuel on race day. Do something that's tried and true, and practiced. So when I come back from my bike ride, there's really not a whole lot to do in T2, and that's what I was that's what I was hoping for. Bike is racked, helmet off, and a lot of people they'll just put their helmet close to their transition area. I like to hang it off my bars so that I know. That, um, that it's not gonna get blown away anywhere. And I really only have two things to do for T2. That's slip on my shoes, and that's why my shoes and run stuff's kind of in the back here, because I'm getting to it last. Slip on my shoes. I like to use these um, elastic laces. There's many different kinds that makes it so I just slip in and out real quick, and I don't have to worry about taking the time to tie my shoes, and I know that my shoes are adjusted to the, to the um, degree of tightness that for which I'm used to running and then one of my most important tips for having a sm fast smooth transition is with my hat not standing here taking the time to put it on I put my shoes on I grab my hat I'm headed out and as I'm running out I'm putting my hat on if I am doing a half Ironman or a long distance race I have at least two bottles of water and I have the food in here which I've practiced during my training for racing that lasting that distance. A lot of times if you're just doing a sprint you might only have one water bottle. When I send out a list of items for new clients some of the things that they might want to uh, consider is some sunblock because it, it, it's going to be hot. Extra water. Make sure that your bag with your um, equipment to, to change a tire. You, I mean, we don't want to think about flats, but it does happen. Make sure that it's stocked with your tubes, your CO2 cartridges, your tire levers. I like to bring a bag with some after clothes. I have my sunblock to here. I have a name tag. You know, transition areas, depending on the race and how big it is, they can get crazy. Stuff gets thrown around everywhere. And most of all, it's really nice to be conscientious of others in the transition area and just make sure your stuff is neat. And a, a nice transition bag is one of the ways that, that you can do that. I like to pump up my tires the night before a race to the PSI, to which I'm used to using. And then that way, if in the morning 
the tire pressure is not the same, I know that something's wrong. Fog can just ruin your day during your swim. If you get a simple fog spray, you can remedy that and then have clear vision for, for your race. I have my fuel neatly lined up in the way that I've practiced during my long bike rides. And I like to, no matter what type of fuel that I'm using, I like to open it the package at least partially and that makes it so I'm not on my arrow bars trying to finagle a package and wrecking or the 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 wrapper goes flying and next thing I know I'm getting cited by the um, by the race officials if you're doing a race that's anything like Las Vegas coming out of Lake Mead is very steep and so you want to make sure that you're in the right gear perhaps a smaller ring gear comfortable for you that you've practiced a lot of times the transition both the equipment and all the tasks that you need to do it can seem incredibly overwhelming and it's important for especially new athletes to know that this is not only the time where you're changing sports but it's also the time that you get to settle down a bit slow down recover um, and sort of hit the reset button if you will so come in forget about the last leg it's done um, take your time and and just you know enjoy the process a little bit and the you can only rush so much and we'd rather you enjoy it instead of rush it and make all kinds of mistakes